This is MSJ Chem. In this second video on entropy, I'll be looking at standard entropy change. Let's start by looking at absolute entropy. A perfectly ordered solid at zero Kelvin has an entropy of zero. Therefore, absolute entropy values are positive. In table 12 of the data booklet, you can find the absolute entropy values for a range of compounds. Next, we'll use the absolute entropy values to calculate the standard entropy change of a reaction. And we'll use this equation. So it's the standard entropy change of reaction equals the sum of the absolute entropy values of the products minus the sum of the absolute entropy values of the reactants. In this reaction, N2H4, which is hydrazine, reacts with oxygen to form nitrogen and water. Before we do the calculation, let's try to predict the sign of the entropy change. In the reactants, we have one mole of liquid and one mole of gas. And in the products, we have three moles of gas. Because gases have a higher entropy than liquids, we can predict that the sign of the entropy change will be positive. So let's do the calculation. In this table, I have the absolute entropy values of hydrazine, oxygen, nitrogen, and water as a gas. Next, I'll input the values into the equation. Notice I multiply the value for water by two because we have two moles of water. And when we do the calculation, we get a standard entropy change of reaction of positive 242 joules per Kelvin mole. As we predicted earlier, we have a positive value for the entropy change, which means that the entropy is increasing. So that's all from this video. Don't forget to check the video description for a link to a practice worksheet.